8.09, it's Saturday morning, and Saturday can mean we're only doing one thing, and that is a book review. So my very good friend Tom, one of the school dads, actually told me about this book called Running Man. He's a runner, and I just thought, oh, no, not another running book. Uh, and he kept asking me, you listen to it yet? You listen to it yet? And I was like, oh, shit. All right, I'll listen to it. Phenomenal. Absolutely bloody phenomenal. Basically, long story short, this guy had a normal um, existence. He had two kids, wife, married, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, but... The one thing that wasn't typical was that every now and again, he used to get really sky high on crack, cocaine, um, and he would just drink himself into oblivious and go on these benders for four or five days, didn't care where it was, nearly got killed. There's so many stories in there. It's amazing. And um, he actually went to prison, but nothing to do with that. And to be fair, it was very, very harsh. It was it was lying on a mortgage <laughs> A mortgage form, but he went to prison, which is ridiculous. Never should have gone to prison for it. There's a there's a whole thing in America about this and why he went to prison. But so all the he did loads of shitty bad fit, not bad things, but you know, in terms of taking drugs and stuff like that and staying out four or five days when he's got a family. Um, but the one thing he, he didn't go for prison for any of that, uh, for buying drugs, selling drugs, and all that. He went to prison for something that millions of people did in America and still do now. And he went to prison for it for some reason. So he pissed somebody off. Anyway. Um, in his journey, the only way that he could get sober was by focusing on something, running. And it's a great, it's a great, great motivational story about him running the different places, his marriage breakup, his new relationships, and just what type of a person he is. He's just a phenomenal. Uh, like, like, do you know what? Like all of us, we've all got shortcomings. Every single person has got a shortcoming. And whether you don't believe your shit stinks, I can tell you your shit still stinks. Every single person has got shortcomings. This guy is no different. He got shortcomings. But the great thing is he embraces them, he acknowledges them, and he moves on. He literally is a force to be reckoned with. He's a complete train. And one, I mean the train in the sense of like once you're going, once you're starting going, you can't stop him. Or it's very, very hard to. And I thoroughly enjoyed the. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the book. It was it was brilliant, and uh, I think that everybody should. Well, not if you're interested. If it sounds interesting to you, you should listen to it. But it's very, very motivational, and I would listen to it when I was going running. And I was like, um, every time I was that tired, I was like, "Come on, you little bitch! This guy we did, you know, has done so many care." And so basically, when I started listening to this book, I was doing like. Uh, between 20 and 30 K a week and uh, mostly high 20s, 30s. But since that book, I've done 40 K every single week. And this week, I'm going to try and do 50 K uh, this week because I'm training. And since that book now, I'm, do, I'm, I'm going to do an endurance challenge as well. It's just really, really motivated me, hyper motivated me to do something. And the problem is that when you're doing it, I was in my comfort zone running 25 to 30 miles a K a week. I was in my comfort zone. I thought that was good, but then it's not good. And it's only good if you, if you're comparing it to people who don't run or run very little, but when you compare it to other people, this is the problem with life and society. We, it's who you hang around with. So I was thinking that's, that's good. I'm, I'm doing a good thing. And then when I listen to that book, the beauty about books is, and I'm, I can relate to somebody else. And I'm thinking, holy shit, I thought this is good, but there's a whole new level that I'm just, I'm in my comfort zone. Come on, Dean, come move, move, move. Get yourself going. When you don't want to go for a run and you're a little bit hungover, tough shit. That's the price you pay for drinking the night before. And if I, if I want a good body, if I want to be on that fitness journey that I'm on, then shit, I've got to, I've got to move more. I've got to do more. And uh, yeah, so it, 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 it's, we're the average of the people we hang around with. And luckily for me, I hang around with so many authors, so many podcasts now, but they influence me so much. And so thank you very much, Tom, for letting me, re for, letting me for telling me about this book because it, it inspired me. It has massively, massively inspired me to go on a different journey, to, to literally pound out those miles. Today, it's Monday when I'm recording this. I've run 11K this morning. Like I say, I want to do, I want to do, uh, I want to do 50K this week, but the problem is this week, as you know, it's my wife's, my and my wife's anniversary and I'm going away Thursday, Friday, and I work back till late Saturday. So, can I do it? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, yes, I can do it. No, no I'm gonna try. Shut up. Are you absolutely. Uh, no, yes, I can do it. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Yes. Can I do it? Yes. But that's the wrong thing. To, yes, I will do it. There you go. I'll report back to you on Monday. All right, guys, read the book. It's good. <laughs> it's great. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Love you. Appreciate you. Bye.